Hi guys, I know there was uh, some interest in the floor plan uh, plugin for Home Assistant um, from the first one I did. Um, as you can see, it has changed a little bit. Um, it got taken up a couple notches in the the way that my floor plan floor plan looks. Um, I would say it looks a lot better now. Um, I came across an app, um, it's Android or iOS, even, but I believe the best experience is, gonna, is the iOS 11 version, it has to be iOS 11. Um, I put that on my iPad, because um, my phones and everything else is Android, but I do have an iPad um, for my drone stuff. Um, it's called a Magic Plan, um, let's see. It doesn't cost you anything for the first, for for one pretty much floor plan. It lets you pretty much do a full featured floor plan for free. Um, after that you have to start paying um, because I don't think you can export the image that you create, the SVG file that you need unless you have like a premium subscription but they give you one plan for free so for most people that should work for your host or whatever and then you can create a nice SVG image um, and it just kind of shows you in this video here you aim it in the corners and you walk around the room and it is like pretty accurate because I got I grabbed the tape measure on the first room I did and I'm like yeah that seems to be pretty close to me um, at least within like an inch or two it looked like um, and so it's super easy and you get done you connect the two like that and there you go and you can add doors and windows and furniture and all that cool stuff to it um, so yeah magic plan and that allowed me to create this um, this is the first floor here this is like the upstairs it's a small upstairs like a half and then the garage um, the garage I do have the automated garage door opener but it's not programmed in here yet I'm not sure if you can even do a cover because that is set up as a cover. Um, but the cameras are, you can see the cameras are blue, they're all on. Um, otherwise, I think they're black. Um, anything that's in red is turned off. If it's green, it's turned on. And when you put your mouse over it, it just kind of gives you a tooltip here hallway, state off, last changed, and last time. So you can actually see when it was last turned on. Um, there's a light in there. Um, this is the furnace, which it's early at in about 15 minutes. So it's going to jump up to 68 degrees. Um, this is just a stairway going upstairs. Doesn't really matter. Um, but this is like our porch outside. It's not actually the house, but I couldn't figure out how to add just a porch. <laughs> um, but here's the TV in the living room, TV in the bedroom I can turn on and off. Um, I don't know if you saw previous video, but I made an automatic toilet flusher just for the fun of it. Um, it's not actually programmed in yet. You can see it's red for off, but you can't click anything. Um, and then all the lights pretty much. And then this is upstairs. This is my 3D printer. It's off. This is a lamp for the 3D printer. And I have another LED strip up there that goes with the 3D printer. Just like the one on the porch, which is this LED symbol holiday lights and printer lights and this is my iguanas it's a huge cage and as you can see their lights are on and they came on uh, about 16 minutes ago at sun sunrise um, but yeah this is a much fancier looking floor plan that's for sure and you just click on things like boop the light in here just turned on simple as that this is actually the router um, so somehow Still lots of work to be done, but I've made some progress. Um, all you do is you use that Magic Plan app. Easiest anyways. I mean, you can manually make your floor plans, but th this has made it so easy. Um, I just came across it and I was like, wow, that's pretty neat. Um, and then you export an SVG image out of that, and then you can use a program such as Inkscape which is what this is here and then all you have to do is go around and click on each like entity here 
you can see it kind of highlights it. Some of them can be funky. I have to click a couple times, like see it just highlighted a little section. There we got the whole thing. And then you go up to the ID name here, and this is where you put in your entity ID, which would, like this is camera.backdoor, um, camera.frontdoor, if I can get it. There, camera dot front underscore yeah dot front underscore door it's exactly what you have it named in home assistant um pretty much all this stuff light dot computer underscore room um so you just assign the entity id name under the id for every object and there you go you're done with the svg part um and then you're going to have to go with the plugin, you'll have a floorplan.yaml file, and you'll also have your floorplan.css. These are pretty much the two files that you need to to deal with. Um, this this is just pretty much the default template that comes with it, and then you just pretty much change like the entity IDs to what you're actually using. Um, so I just did that, and some of the stuff I had just removed because I'm not using it or don't really care. Um, but you can see I just put in all my own entity IDs. Um, these states here where it says class, that's what uses your CSS file. Um, it's like you'll see here class light on, class light off. When the light's on, use class light on. When the light's off, use class light off. Um, so you'd go in here and see you have light on, or light off, light on. And this is just the color that it is on your... Uh, floor plan um, and for me I have it set up for red and green for everything just simple so that would be off and that would be on so you can change the color to whatever color you may want it to be by default it's kind of like a uh, almost a pinkish for off and then it's like a tan color for on uh, but the red and green I like a lot better so I changed that just a little bit um, and then it's the same thing for the, pretty much everything, um, like switches. I'd use the class electronics on and electronics off. So you go into the floor plan, you'll find electronics off and on again. Um, that was named something different, but you can change the names to whatever you want. Um, you just make sure that they both match up with each other. That's pretty much it. Um, and the same, yeah, that media player same thing um, so I mean it's it's really pretty easy um, there is one more step and that is how you integrate floor plan into your uh, your home assistant installation um, I have it on the side over here as like a menu um, there is another way of doing it where you can have it up here as a tab um, but I kind of like the menu better um, that's pretty much detailed on the github page for it which i can link down below in the description um, where you can find the plugin uh, but that clearly pretty much tells you how to do that um, so i just put it in the floor plan um, but yeah i mean that's pretty much really all there is to it um, i stumbled across this the other day and this guy because i'm using a wall panel on an android tablet on the wall um, but this guy is using Foley Kiosk browser here um, and then you you can actually have your floor plan all fancy like this on there um, the only thing that's preventing me from switching to it instead of wall panel um, is because it doesn't have MQTT support and I use that to turn my tablet screen on whenever there's motion detected in that room um, otherwise the button is on the back side of the tablet. I have an older uh, Kindle Fire HDX 8.9 or 8 9.7 or, or something like that. Um, it's a few years old, but the power button's on the back and it's mounted on the wall and you have to pull it off the wall to hit the button. It's just a huge pain. Um, so that really isn't that great. I don't know about these new ones, how they are, um, but I use MQTT in that room to just turn the screen on when you're walking through the room. Uh, but without MQTT support on this one, that kind of is a big missing feature in my case. Um, so I plan on playing around with this more. 
um, but for the meantime that's not what I'm using but like the the cameras here you can actually click on them and it will actually bring up the the live camera feed and you can see one of the iguanas just chilling right there living the hard life <laughs> just did a yawn with the misting on them because it's so dry in the winter time but that definitely helps um, yeah, you just click on a camera no, oh, there's a car driving right by. Look at that. Our snow's melting. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think that pretty much covers what I got for now. Um, there is something I'm going to do with last motion. Because I have some motion, motion sensors going on. I have one here. I have one here. And I have one here currently. Um, eventually you could pretty much have one in every room and then use the last motion which floor plan supports and it'll actually kind of give me like a symbol or something where motion was last detected so like motion was last in here motion was last here might be kind of neat <laughs> but yeah it's a work in progress that never ends um, so yeah hopefully that helps you out a little bit thanks for watching